guess I may never see them again. Not like this. Not in the... Oh, not in the condition I'm in.
like just now. Don't tell me you made some kind of alien contact. Or was it something more along the lines of the divine? To tell you the truth, though, I was looking out the window during that hijacking fiasco, and... How could you admire the view at a time like that? Well, the sky looks so beautiful. Oh, please. You really thought that looking at the view from the window was more important than it hijacking? Kind of. But the point is, I saw something a few minutes before the explosion. Saw what? A yellow light. The same light that Laura came down in, only much, much bigger. A huge curtain of light appeared from the other side of the ocean, then grew until it enveloped everything. It was almost as if the light was sh shielding the planet. Oh, spare me. You think you saw God or some planet-sized guardian angel? Actually, I work for a legitimate organization that studies things not too far removed from that. C-E-T-I, right? How'd you know? Center for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. It's pretty famous as far as bands of deluded UFO crazed loonies go. You're, uh, showing off one of their caps right now, genius. I'm not showing off anything. Besides, I'm an engineer. Speaking of which, I'm pretty handy. I didn't see you pushing that bucket of bolts down the hill. That's a different story. <laughs> hmm. 
My team is currently studying the underlying causes of why the dinosaurs became extinct 65 million years ago. What? Maybe you think a flying saucer caused this, too. No. We're talking meteors here. Meteors? Two major fragments from a meteor impacted on this planet. One hit the Yucatan Peninsula. The other struck northern Canada. You know what? I also think that a meteor caused our plane crash. So you're saying that an asteroid took care of the dinosaurs and now they're after us? In a sense, yes. I can't help thinking that these events are the will of the cosmos. A warning, even a punishment directed at the dominant species on this planet. We're doing our best to follow the fate of the dinosaurs and the powers that be are trying to... Kind of new agey, aren't we? Here, try the chemical equipment. Drugs? I don't recommend it. I wouldn't take anything you did recommend. Anyway, I'm more concerned about how we're going to get out of here than in your thesis. Like I said, those medias from 65 million years ago have everything to do with what we're seeing now. Oh, Laura, you're done eating. Sorry, we've been talking nonsense. Ta hmm. Oh, by the way, there's some weird guy upstairs, but he won't open the door. Every time I knock, he just shouts that he's practicing, and he, he keeps playing the piano. Oh, oops. <laughs> I guess I should stop gabbing like s someone and finish my food. Jenny's asleep in the next room. Mm. Look, isn't there anything else you can tell me? You may be the key to uncovering the relationship between what's happening now and what happened to the dinosaurs. Hey, what you do that for? She can't remember anything. Why don't you just leave her alone? Sorry, I didn't know. If you like aliens so much, I can introduce you to some I know. My mother was abducted by aliens. Really? When did it happen? Was it an isolated event or were there recurrences? I was just kidding. Not too bright, are you? I got you bright. Come on. Let's leave Captain Cosmos here alone and get some rest. Laura, just a minute. Hmm? Why don't you just rest for a bit?
Mother? Is it you? I guess not. Go away! I don't know who you are or what you want, but I have to play this song right! Practice, 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 practice. Do you understand? Now leave me alone! And upstairs, not much fun to talk to, huh? I guess we should be grateful that he's letting us use his house. He must be tired. Try and get some rest. What do you think you're doing? You shouldn't take that stuff. Who are you to tell me what I can and can't do? I know I don't have any right, but I just want you to take control of your life. Spare me the speeches. You've got to understand, it's wrong to give yourself over to these chemicals. You won't be yourself anymore. As if anyone cares. Well, if it makes you feel any better, well, I do. <sighs> you can't just drift in a narcotic dream and call it life. You're bartering yourself away for a make-believe world, paying with pain, yours and others. So what's the difference between that and how those pathetic monsters exist? Fine. There's not much chance that I'll make it out of here anyway. And even if I did, I'd just be alone again. In the dark. I'd rather turn into a monster and not have to think or remember or feel anything anymore. Don't say things like that. <coughs> So sorry. Don't bother. Her 
all your fancy talk. You're just like any other man. All you need is an excuse to start hitting. That's not true. I just want to help. I only want to make you feel safe. You're... I... Good morning. Sorry you had to see me at my worst again. I know he's right, but I just can't seem to act normal around men. I feel like such a, such a wreck. Uh, are you going out too? Well, be careful. I'll stay here. Okay?
Who's there? I see. You're the final visitor prophesized in this book. <laughs> Stay and listen to what I have to say. ever heard of William Knife? Last year, he prophesied in his book that a holy figure who oversees the balance of all things would soon come and serve the people responsible for all wrongdoings. <coughs> Do you know what I'm speaking of? I'm talking about that meteorite that hit the northern mountain that gave off a golden hue. Ah, to protect the turning star from the crimson shadow and awaken from the folds of time an ancient lord of destruction. Ah, only then will hope lie with a child of destiny born on both shores of history. Ah, Terrible things. A golden flush tinted the sky. And on that northern mountain, fearfully known as Death Mountain, fell the meteor. Thus, the prophecy is fulfilled. And you are possibly... No, I ought not ask. It is not sanctioned to involve an outsider in this zealotry. Hence, go safely, my daughter. remaining candles is very fortuitous. <laughs> Perhaps too much so. If all is according to the book, you would be the child of destiny, born on both shores of history. However... Destiny's child is she who stands before us, born on both shores of history and fated to be here at this moment. Is all according to the prophecies of knife? Only two candles remain. Now, you must go, my child.
So glad to see you. So glad. I just woke up and you were gone. And Kimmy's gone too. Hmm? I don't know where she is. 